Hello everyone and welcome back to Tales of Symphonia. I am Wishblade and we are in the Triad Ruins, the Seal of Fire. And that is an enemy. Let's kill it. And there's Tempest. Not a... It can be a nice enough move, but not really the biggest fan of the thing. It has its it has its niches when you fight really large enemies, but other than that, I don't know. I suppose it's nice to move around the area to hop over enemies and such, but I don't use it that often. Now this chest, I want it, so I'm gonna shoot my sorcerer's ring at it. And then I get a lemon gel. Um, if I remember correctly, a lemon gel is the upgraded version of an apple gel. An apple gel heals you for 30%, a lemon gel heals you for 60 Now let's have a look in here and see what we can do in this place. We can kill enemies. All right, let's go. Oh dear, it's a fire warrior! Let's use a magic lens on it. Rain, behold the power of magic lensing. Thank you. And I'm not sure... Yeah, he... he... Oh, and now I'm in over limit. Yeah, you can tell if you're reaching over limit real soon by your portrait. Apparently I didn't notice, but your por the your portrait will start to... What do you call that? Have those weird lines around it, like what? You can tell something is happening to the portrait and... Oh, oh apparently I didn't get fully hit by that thing. That's nice. But yeah, you can see your portrait start to like... I don't know, pulsate? Maybe? I don't know. And apparently Colette learned Power Hammer. Maybe she'll show that off eventually. And that's the memory gem. But yeah, and once that effect on the portrait reaches its limit, you go into over limit. And if you die, if say Lord dies, he's very close to over limit and then he dies, then your over limit is reset. And actually, what is actually reset is your tension. So if you remember back in the great sh in the what in the great shop. There was an increased tension that would allow us to reach over limit faster, but it would also allow the enemies to reach over limit faster, so that's a thing. But yeah. Um, I don't know. Over limit is a little annoying, in my opinion. Just sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't, and with certain enemies, if they aren't in on the front lines, like Genius and Rain, if there's a good reason for them to get into over limit, then. It really doesn't happen that much. That is another thing Overlimit does. If you're in Overlimit, your cast time on spells is slightly reduced as well. But yeah, lighting those torches, or these torches around here, will raise the floor. Not raise the roof, but raise the floor. Yeah, so we're gonna light all these torches and raise all these floors ar around a whole bunch. So let's see if we can hit this one. Ta-da! And yeah, I think I think there's one torch that I'm not going to end up lighting because I'm going to eventually raise the floors a whole bunch, but it shouldn't really matter because I think there are two torches that activate the same kind of platform somewhere, but I don't know. I should be getting everything, no matter what. So don't you worry, don't you worry. Hello. And we get lightning! It's not really that amazing, it's just... It's a basic lightning spell. A lightning shoots down from the heavens and... That's it. There you go. But... I like lightning. Lightning is actually... That's an element I do enjoy. Oh, Apparently we have way too many apple gels. So... Hmm. You know what? I think... Actually, I'll come back to this chest in a moment. Because... I want to get into a battle. Don't let up. And just because I actually want to show this off. Rain, I will now have you use a bunch of apple gels. Not really for any particular reason, I just want you to use them. No, not Kratos. Rain, use an apple gel. Just heal us up. And yes, as you can see up in the in the top, you can't use items over and over and over. There is a certain amount of time you have to wait until you can use another one. There we go, and one more. Let's see who wants it. There you go, Kratos, you can have it. 
And I believe now, by doing that, Rain should be getting a new title. I don't think it's... I'm not sure if it's a really good title or anything, but it's a new title. I might do some special battle titles when, um, between episodes and such. Yeah, earned the title, Item Keeper, because I used five of the same item in a row. But yeah, there are some titles you can get by doing various things in a battle, and it's usually not some you get just by just doing normal battles, so I'll do those whenever I feel like it. But yeah, let's actually see if that does anything special. Item Keeper, what does that do? More defense and evasion and reduced TP and intellect, so not gonna use that. Because I like intellect and TP a lot more. And I also wanted to do this because I actually want to pick up the Sapple Gel. If you remember when we were in the Martel Temple, I said something about there is a certain side quest thing where you need to open every single chest in the game. And that that means you have to get the actual item. So if you have too many of the items and you can't pick it up, then use an item and then pick up the chest again. Because you want to gather every single chest. And up here we can get some savory. I'll probably show that off in a moment after I get these chests. Show you what that is, and we get a Mumai, which is another weapon for Lloyd, and a bunch of gold. So, let's have a look at these items. Savory. Now you can get a bunch of herbs here and there, like savory and um, sage, stuff like that. And those can be used to increase your stats. Really, I don't... I have never really used them much at all. I just have them and then they just sit there, but I don't know. I'm sure it would be a good idea, but I just, I'm the kind of guy, I don't know who to use it on, who is best to use the thing on. Anyway, we also got, at some point, we got a bracelet, so I think we're gonna give that to Genius. Sounds good. Now, yes, I do have this Mume, and the description is a very sharp sword, it's fortress unknown. But, just because, to make it a little more challenging for myself, I'm not gonna use that. I'm not going to use that right now, because, well, maybe, possibly, I'm not going to use it ever. Because, at a certain point, we'll get into a boss fat, boss battle, boss battle, and if you haven't changed Lord's weapon from his wooden sword, if you've used the wooden sword throughout the entire game until you've defeated that boss battle, you'll get a title. So, I don't know if it's a great title or anything like that, but... I want to get that, just because. Silly enemy standing in my way. Now here is a treasure chest. But I want to do something real quick first. And just because it's kind of the first time to prepare for stuff like this. I want to go over to Kratos and set one of these shortcuts for my right trigger to be Windblade. Because I want some spells right about now. Genius is fine because he has spells and nothing else. And, apparently Rain is gonna learn a new move eventually. Charge, which restores a bit of TP. It's rarely you get to see that actually being used, so... But, whatever. It's all set, so... Let's open this chest. And get into a battle with... A fake. Or a mimic. You could call it a mimic, I guess, but... Nah. Here it's called a fake. So, I wanna go all out on this thing, and it's kind of annoying. And Kratos, could you please step back for a moment and cast some spells? Because this thing is invulnerable to physical attacks. So I need all these guys to just keep casting spells. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to kill this thing. And I want to kill it now because we're, we're here, so... And there's Charge. And a Stone Blast. And there we go. The fake is dead, and we get the all divide. And apparently I made a sandwich. I did not intend to do that. And a spirit bottle. So let's have a look at those two new items. First up, the spirit bottle restores 30% of max TP for all party members. That's a really nice one. And the all divide reduces all damage inflicted on allies and enemies during battle. 
by 50%. Those can be really useful for, like, really tough boss battles, so don't use those, and if you accidentally use those, load up the game again and don't use it because they can be really valuable. Alrighty, I just cleared another enemy over here as well, and I did a few things here in the menu. I turned off Genius's other abilities, he's gonna get Icicle soon, because there's a lot of enemies here resistant, not resistant, weak to water and ice, so no need to actually use these other spells, just want him to use Aqua Edge and Icicle once he learns it. And Kratos is no longer in the active party right now, because really I only wanted him for his spells for that fake, so there you go. And Colette needs to be in the party soon enough, so yeah, there you go. So let's get this block over to its proper position so we can actually reach that torch area over there. Voila! But first, let's get a chest. A stiletto! We'll have a look at that eventually. And yeah, that torch over there, um, I don't think it really does anything special at all. I think if you light that torch, then that's gonna raise the platform that was... Like, not the platform you can see right here, but the one a little further south from this one that led us to that savory we got and the stiletto might as well have a look at that a blade that is easy to use due to its compact size and that is an upgrade for Krado so there you go all nice and good and over here I think there's an enemy another thing I should probably make note of is that Colette during one of the battles learned item thief so yeah Colette is our thief apparently and I don't know, maybe I should actually show that off, just just for one battle, just to show you how ridiculous it is. Just to show you how ridiculous this is. So I'm gonna change Colette out with Lord, just so I can show that off. And it's already set there to down and lippy button. So let's see, that's not the way I want to go. And up here there's actually nothing, apparently, so never mind. And, well, I guess there's no real battle to show it off in right now, so I guess I'll have to show it off later. And this circlet is why I didn't buy two ribbons in Triet, because this is a wee little upgrade for rain. It also boosts intellect intelligence, so I like that. And I guess, yeah, I'm gonna say it right now. It might be a spoiler, but there is a wee little test for us coming up right now, so... I think I've done all the preparations I need, so let's do it! Whee! This place is also built with Magi technology. Absolutely fantastic! Well, that's a hell of an eruption, and oh my god, there are fire kitties! Oh no! Rain! Yeah, and this is, this is what I really hate about the item menu. The old divide is really damn close to the magic lens, so be careful, goddammit. So yeah, this is... Well, that's icicle in a moment. This is Ku... to Kogling and Tukak, and they are... Weak to water and ice, and resistant to fire, so don't use fire. But use a whole lot of these wonderful aqua edges and icicles that, mm, that a genius has. But you might want to be a little careful with the, um, the, the, um, what are those? The aqua edges, because those slide along the floor, pretty much, and Sometimes they might not actually hit these two cocklings. Yes, that's really weird. I I haven't really pronounced that their names much at all, so sorry. But yeah, this boss I actually have had, I've had a lot of issues with this with this bastard in the past. There's a, there's been a lot of times where I've actually died horribly to these things. But there we go. We've dealt with its little minions, so time to kill this wee big wee big old bastard. Ow. And should I? Nah. No need to use a 
and an orange gel, that's right. Quite yet. And yeah, this guy will just swing around and slap you in the face and also cast the level 2 fire spell, Eruption. So yeah, otherwise just turn, it's turning around, hit you with the tail, shoot needles from its head and such. If you know what to do, then it's all good. And actually, that I might want to explain that because that is not something that would normally happen at this point in the game. That was Colette using the ability Power Hammer. And because I got the tech usage in the Great Shop, it shows that I've used this over 200 times. If that is the case, then Power Hammer sometimes might turn into the green Toss Hammer. And that is the only way that you can poison enemies. So that's really damn rare. But there you go, that just happened. So that's nice and all. Anyway, let's continue. We're still somewhat alive, indeed. And there we go. You need to remember that enemy's weakness. Oh man, you're making me study here too. I'm sorry, I like sometimes when they say stuff like that, and apparently Kratos learned lightning, and we have defeated the boss of the Seal of Fire, so hooray! Chosen of Regeneration, offer your prayers at the altar. Yes, my lord. O oh, Goddess Martell, great protector and nurturer of the earth, grant me thy strength. Colette, my dear daughter, you have done well. Thank you, father. The guardian of the seal has fallen, and the first seal has been released. Ifrit will surely awaken soon. In the name of Crucius, I shall grant you the power of the angels. Thank you, my lord. Angel transformation will not be without pain, yet it is but for one night. Be strong and endure. I humbly accept this trial. The next seal lies far to the east, across the sea. Offer your prayers at that altar. Yes, Lord Remuel. I shall await you at the next seal, the Chosen of Regeneration, my beloved daughter Colette. Colette has wings! Uh-huh, and look, I can put them away too. Oh wow, that's so cool! Here, look, look! Said the next place is across the sea. That means we get to sail on a ship. Haha! <laughs> I can't wait. A ship? Hmm. I wonder if there are any ships sailing with the way things are right now. We should head to the coast to see what we can find. Okay, you two, we get it already. That's enough. Okay. And Colette learned Angel Feathers! 
And she apparently got wings! Well, ain't that something? So yeah, now... Colette has a wee little spell with the light element. That could be very useful. But usually... I actually don't like her to actually use it that much because it has a long cast time. So... Usually, she doesn't really do much if she starts casting Angel Feathers. Eventually, I'll just have killed everything once she finally gets to cast it. So, I prefer her to actually use some of her other abilities. But yeah, Colette apparently got fancy, shiny, magical wings instead of feathery, wi feathery wings like Remiel. So, ha! Ah, Colette is more awesome than Remiel. But, yeah, there's not really much to do here and... After considering we've pretty much done everything, and yeah, I thought a little bit more about it. And Colette, I could show off her item thief, but I'm gonna show it off eventually, and otherwise, maybe she'll show it off on her own. So I'm gonna refrain on doing that, and I'll just see you at the um, at the entrance. If there are any skits showing up, I'll probably show those off in the meantime. But I'll see you at the entrance. Okay? I'm... fine. You don't look fine at all. Your face is completely white. It's all my fault. I got carried away and kept making her pull her wings in and out. I don't think that has anything to do with it. Now's not the time for that. Her lips are turning purple. We must get her to a doctor in the city immediately. Wait. It's best not to move her. Why? Remember the Angel's words. The Angel Transformation process requires her to overcome a trial. Rather than taking her to a doctor, it would be best to let her rest here. I'm... okay. I'll be fine after a little rest. I'm sorry to cause so much trouble. Stop apologizing all the time, you dork. It's not as if you can help it. You were suddenly turned into an angel. You're right. I'm sorry. <sighs> Well, anyway, let's set up camp before it gets dark. Well, that's unfortunate. That doesn't, that doesn't sound nice at all. First, going all completely white and then her, her lips are turning purple. That's, ugh, that does not sound nice at all. But here is another instance of whoever you talk to first is going to get an affection boost. And yeah, I'll talk to Rain again. What do you have to say? Oh, well, that's good. We want we wouldn't want her to become sick or anything like that. Yeah, it sounds rough. It sounds scary as all hell. Ugh. <laughs> the Lord doesn't know a thing, but yeah, that sounds really scary. Her biological structure changing, becoming a different life form, becoming an angel or whatever. Hmm. I don't know. To me, I guess Colette is Colette. That sounds like something Lloyd would say. <laughs> uh, Lloyd sometimes point, points out the truth very well. Very simple. <laughs> um, yeah, I suppose that's kind of true. Don't be mad, Lloyd. Don't be mad at all. Um... I don't know, um, it, it was missing something, I think. What? Oh. Oh, well, I'm happy to surprise you, I guess. <laughs> well, apparently you got to hear that, so there you go. Now you can die happy. Actually, don't die, genius. That, that would be sad. <laughs> Well, that's too bad. What is Kirima fruit? Is that a real thing? I don't think it is. Hmm. Um. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm gonna pass on that, Rain. Yeah. Rain is not the best cook in the world. I'm just gonna tell you right now. Rain, no good cooking. Genus, he's quite good. What do you have to say? Actually, I want to talk to Noish first. Oh. 
Still the same thing. <laughs> it does? Oh. Huh. Well, ain't that something. That's because Lloyd is special. Special Irving. That is a good question, actually. Kratos. Oh, okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. That's That seems reasonable. Just took one away. And maybe have a key crest, or did it already have a key crest, or what? I don't know. I guess, sure. Because a dwarf found him, I guess. That's pretty much what happened, I think. Someone died, and then Dirk was like, Oh, that that's a human child. Let's pick him up and raise him as our own. Hmm. Yeah, sounds about right. Yeah, kind of. Well, I don't know about chased out and stuff, but... Yeah, I guess you're kind of right, in a way. Yes, they are. That is true. Yeah. So many truths. That is right, Lloyd. You shall become strong and powerful and defeat all the designs. We shall take them on together. <laughs> I don't know. Because I made you, Lloyd. I guess that's the reason. Oh, yeah. I know it's kind of late now, but here's your birthday present. Oh no, it's broken. I wonder when it broke. I'm sorry, I'll make you a new one. Thanks. And I'm sorry that I keep causing trouble for you. Don't worry about it. By the way, you haven't been eating at all. Are you still feeling sick? No, I'm fine. I just don't seem to have much of an appetite. You won't be able to keep up your strength if you don't eat. I know, you're right. <coughs> Lloyd, don't push her. Colette is delicate, unlike you. Shut it! I'm sorry, Colette. No, no, I'm okay. I'm really sorry for worrying you. I'm gonna go for a little walk. Want me to come? Thanks, but I'll be fine by myself. Ha <laughs> ha, you got rejected! Hey, shut up, genus. Ugh. <coughs> What's happening to me? I guess you're turning into an angel and it's kinda rough on your body. Alright, well, I think we'll watch this wee little skit right here and probably call it an episode after that. To Paul Macosta. That sounds like a very fantasy place. Paul Macosta. Or Palma Costa. I'm not entirely sure what's the proper pronunciation. Sometimes it's Palma Costa, other times it's Palma Costa. The Asa Trail. Alright, we shall find this Asa Trail and we shall go through it and stuff. Indeed, maybe we should be prepared and make sure we have everything we need. So, next episode, we're going to Triet. Maybe stock up a little bit and move on to this awesome trail. So thank you very much for watching and until next time, see you later.